I'm Reverend Steve Marshall, an artist and a pastor on staff at Willowbrook United Methodist Church. I'm sure you're all familiar with the old knock-knock jokes. Well, here's one. Knock-knock. And you say, who's there? Jesus. Jesus who? And that's really the issue, isn't it? The Bible says that Jesus is standing at the door of your heart. He's knocking. And you ask, who's there? He answers, it's me, Jesus. And what is your response? In the course of my 20 plus years in ministry, I have had the privilege of, and responsibility of starting two new churches, one in Surprise, Arizona, the second one in Peoria, Arizona. And my first and most important task in starting a brand new church was to invite people to join me in ministry. It was a matter of survival. In the first few months of starting New Song, I estimate that I knocked on over 1,000 doors. Most people weren't home, and so I would leave a brochure and I would move on to the next house. I had a few doors rudely shut in my face, but most people who answered were respectful, and a few even responded positively. But many times I would hear voices the sounds of the TV, and other indications that people were home, but they just would not open the door. And as frustrating as that was, I also understand why. All of us are familiar with those who walk through our neighborhoods, knocking on every door as they ply their trade or spread their message. Everyone from door-to-door -door salespeople to religious cults have come to my door, and I must confess, there are times when I didn't want to open my door either. In today's society, you never know who or what awaits you when you open your door to strangers. For those who stand at your unanswered door, it can be frustrating. I believe that Jesus knows the disappointment and frustration on a much greater scale because he also stands before a door unannounced and seeks to come in. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, we read, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and I will eat with him and he with me. Jesus is standing before the door of your heart right now. He stands there knocking so very gently as he hopes to be invited into your life. Some of us have heard his knock and have opened the door wide and invited him to come into our hearts. And Jesus has moved in with us to live forever. How wonderful, how beautiful that life is. But some of us have also had invited guests come into our homes, and we know that no matter how much we enjoy their company, life changes, at least for a little while. My wife Sue and I once figured that in the 20 years we have lived in our house, probably half of that time we have had others living with us. It was the Marshall Motel. Both of our daughters have lived with us as adults during times of transition, including grandkids. At one time, our daughter's boyfriend lived with us while she was away at college. My sister lived with us for six months after going through a painful divorce. And living in sunny Arizona, we always have extended family visit for vacations. Now, Sue and I love our family, and we love having guests, but it still changes the way you live, what you eat, what you wear around the house, what you watch on TV. We love our family, but it's still nice when they finally leave and things can get back to normal. Perhaps that's why some people resist answering the door when they hear Jesus knocking. 
They're afraid of the changes that his presence will bring. And believe me, your life will change. When Jesus comes into your heart and life, he brings peace and joy. There's nothing greater than having Jesus Christ living within your heart. But some of us are not so sure that we want Jesus in our heart. We hear him knocking. We sense the presence of the Holy Spirit. We feel the tug of the love of God as he reaches out to us and tries to gently persuade us to let him come in. But for whatever reason, we ignore the quiet knocking and we go on with our lives, wondering if we will ever be truly happy. Maybe there are some things in our lives that we are afraid of giving up, or perhaps we are not sure that we want the life that Jesus offers. We dislike the thought of surrendering our will to the will of God. So we just sneak a peek at what Jesus is offering, but we never really open the door wide enough to allow him into our heart. We go to church. We try to follow all his commandments. We do our best to be a Christian. But unless we open that door wide and allow Jesus to come in and abide in us, we're just getting a peek of what God is offering. As long as Jesus remains on the outside, we will also remain outside of God's kingdom. You see, Jesus is not like some salesman whose livelihood depends upon his success at your door. Jesus already has everything. He has already overcome the world and all of its temptation and desires. He has defeated sin, defeated death, and is alive forevermore. He already has all power in heaven and earth. He already commands the hosts of angels and is seated in the throne of heaven. His work is finished, and there is nothing that you have that he wants to take from you except the sin and pain in your life. Now, why do you think that Jesus continues to knock? It's not because he wants something you have, but because he wants to give you something that he has. Jesus wants to give you eternal life. He wants to give you a more abundant life. He wants to give you his love, mercy, and grace. He wants to give you peace, joy, happiness, and fulfillment in this life and hope for your future. If you will open the door to your heart and let Jesus come in to be the Lord of your life, you will gain all that heaven has to offer. But you must open the door wide and willingly allow him to come in because Jesus will never force his entrance. Jesus will, Jesus will not put his foot in your door to keep you from closing it. He will not persuade you against your will to follow him. He will not manipulate your mind or, or play on your emotions or use any other trick. He is ever so gentle, so loving, and so respectful of your freedom to choose. And thankfully, Jesus will never give up on you. Jesus is standing at your heart's door right now and gently knocking. If you will simply stop, be still, close your eyes, and listen with your heart and your spirit, you can hear that knock. Don't make him wait any longer. Don't leave him waiting patiently on your doorstep. Although he has all the time in the world, you don't. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice 
and opens the door. I will come into him, and I will eat with him, and he with me. Amen. Amen.